What's going on guys? It is Bernardo and you just saw a quick unboxing on Lenovo's ThinkStation P620. So what comes inside the box? Uh, it comes with a heavy gauge power cable. Awesome. It comes with a USB mouse as well as a keyboard with a number pad. Awesome. And then you have your setup guide. You have your safety and warranty guide. You have your statement on USB transferred rates on the P620. Awesome. All right, so I'm gonna put all this stuff to the side. Great. And last but not least, we have the beautiful Lenovo ThinkStation P620 computer tower. This guy is a monster, weighing around 32 pounds. So uh, yeah, this guy has a lot of ports and features. So let's start on the front side. We have our power button. We have our combo audio jack. We have two 3.2 USB ports, and this one right here actually is always on charging, and then two Type-C ports. You have our compact flash port, our secure digital port, our memory stick port, and last but not least, a DVD-ROM drive. On the back side, we have our mic port. We have our audio out and audio in port. We have our PC2 keyboard port, our PC2 mouse port. We have two 2.0 USB ports, and then we have four 3.2 USB ports. We have a RJ45 or gigabit port. We have our graphics card right here. This graphics card actually has one Type-C port and then four display ports. At the very bottom, we have our power port. And right here on the side, we have our key to lock and unlock the panel on this particular tower. All right, so we just went over some of the ports and features on the P620. I'm gonna hook this guy up with a keyboard, a mouse, and a monitor, and we're gonna power it on and take a look on some of the specifications on this particular machine, so let's get right into that. All right, so I just finished hooking up a monitor, keyboard, and mouse into the P620. Let's boot this guy up. Power button is right here on the top, so let's press it. One of the cool things I love about the P620 is that it has an LCD display right here. Uh, this LCD display actually gives you numbers if the machine is not going to boot up or there's like a failure on the hardware. It will give you a bunch of numbers. You will look it up at the Lenovo site and you're able to troubleshoot it with, you know, with no problem. So the ThinkStation P620 uh, has an internal speaker which is actually located right here. Uh, the loudness that I got was around 89.4 decibels, and that kind of caught me off guard because that's that's pretty loud. But you are able to take advantage of the audio in and out ports in the back of the P620 and have external monitors to produce a better sound than using the internal one. But overall, 89.4 decibels on this little guy right here is not that bad. Now for performance, the P620 blew my mind. Like, come on, it is running an AMD Threadripper Pro processor. Uh, but like the memory and the graphics card, you put all that stuff together inside this beautiful case, it's a monster. So on the desktop, let's right click on the taskbar. Let's go inside Task Manager. Uh, let's go to more details. Let's expand the dialog box a little bit. Go to performance. On the CPU, I'm actually going to right click on it and go to change to graph to logical processors. And yes, holy moly. All right. So this machine is running an AMD Ryzen Threadripper Pro 3995WX64 core processor. Now the base speed on this processor is 2.70 gigahertz. One socket, 64 cores, 128 logical processors. That's nuts. That's crazy. Now, for memory, uh, Lenovo actually hooked me up with a lot of memory, 32 gigs. I think the max is around 64 gigs. It does come with a solid-state drive, and the capacity of that was around 512 gigs. Uh, and for the graphics card, it comes with an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000 with 24 gigs of memory. Yes, 24 gigs of memory. Now my second video that I'm going to be doing on the P620 is I'm gonna hook this guy up to do a little bit of mining with cryptocurrency. So stay tuned for that video. 
I can't wait to see how much I'm able to make out with this particular machine with that graphics card, all right? Now with the specifications on the P620, I was able to do everything without any issues. I was able to create a bunch of virtual machines within VMware Workstation, uh, edit 4K without creating proxies within Adobe Premiere, able to edit audio within Audition, and also do a bunch of coloring within DaVinci Resolve with no problem. I was able to run multiple programs at the same time without having any lag issues on the P620. Now, if you're wondering about gaming and this graphics card, again, it is housing an NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000. Gaming was awesome. I was able to play Black Ops with no problem. Uh, it really depends on what type of monitor you use because the monitor will enhance your gaming experience. Now, this particular monitor does have FreeSync, so it went hand in hand with the graphics card, and I was able to play Black Ops as well as play Doom, and it was it was just beautiful. It just ran super smooth for me. I didn't have any issues on the P620. All right, so let's conclude our unboxing slash review on Lenovo's ThinkStation P620, which is powered by the AMD Threadripper Pro processor. So a couple of things about this machine. I think it's amazing. The retail price on this machine, it, it really depends on how you get it configured, but the starting price is around $3339, so close to $3,400. But it all depends on the memory, the hard drive, uh, the processor. It, it just really depends on how you get it configured at the Lenovo site. Uh, the more stuff you add to it, the price is going to go even higher. I do recommend that you invest into purchasing maybe an additional hard drive because for me, the hard drive that I had was only around, what, 500 to 512 gigabytes, and it ran really slow. I only had one hard drive. So installing all my programs, having those big 4K files, uh, installing all those games, you know, like Black Ops is around 75 gigs. Doom is an, another additional 35 gigs that I have to install locally for it to work. You know, the more stuff that you install on the C drive, it's just the performance is going to run a little slow. It, you know, it's Windows 10, right? I do recommend purchasing an additional hard drive when you're configuring the P620 at the Lenovo site. That's the only thing that I kind of recommend, uh, but it all depends on your budget, right? If you are willing to pay $3,400 or even more to get more memory, uh, more hard drive space, and the processor and the graphics card, go for it. Now, for the NVIDIA Quadro RTX 6000 that this P620 has, uh, I had a lot of fun. I didn't really take advantage of the graphics card and all the ports. Again, it comes with five ports. You're able to install five monitors, uh, four displays, and then one Type-C. I don't have that type of equipment in the lab, so I was only able to hook it up with maybe one or two monitors. But the graphics card is able to support five monitors, so that's, that's awesome. Now, for upgrading the P620, Lenovo made it super easy with the side panel latch right here. And you're able to just take it out and you have a bird's eye view of all the components on the P620 to upgrade the memory as well as install additional hard drives or upgrade the hard drive that the machine currently has or even replace the graphics card. Uh, one of the cool things, and this is the first time me seeing this, that the memory, the components, the DIMMs, actually have their own fan. And that's the first time me actually seeing that on a computer tower. And I really like that feature that the P620 has its own fan for the memory to keep it nice and cool. Overall, I had a lot of fun reviewing the P620 for you guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed the review and the unboxing. Uh, I can't wait to actually start mining on this machine to take advantage of the graphics card. I want to see what's the highest hash rate I'm able to get on this machine. So stay tuned for that video, and i catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.